From growing up in the West Australian goldfields, where summer temperatures hover around 38 degrees, to this. <laughs> Kiara Radingius represents Australia in bobsled and she's in the running to qualify for the Winter Olympics. We're proud of you, darling. Yeah. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> I learned from so many people and, and took on board so much advice to be able to change what I was doing very quickly to be able to perform the way I did, and so I'm really proud of that. Kiara Radingius grew up near the mining town of Leonora, nine hours from Perth. Her parents, Renee and Rosemary, are teachers in Leonora and run a hobby farm. It's where their children spent most of their time outdoors. We have the menagerie, as everyone calls it. We have goats and camels and horses and dogs and cats and pigeons and kangaroos and all sorts of things. She had plenty of opportunities to explore her own limits, physical limits, what she was capable of. Did very well as a school athlete in the northeastern goldfields. Kiara had little formal athletics training before she was 20 years old and met coach Darren Clark when she moved to Melbourne to be closer to the athletic circuit. 20 years of age is, is quite late for an athlete to start. Uh, usually we'd find kids coming up through little athletics and starting at six and seven. The first thing that stands out about Kiara is that she's incredibly fit and strong and she's really determined and focused. So she set her mind on something that that was a single, single goal and she worked really hard to try and achieve her goals. Within five years, she was competing with the country's best as a heptathlete, but in 2018, narrowly missed out on selection to the Commonwealth Games and suffered from some injuries after that. And then I, I got approached by um, um, a guy called Shane and he came up to me and he said, uh, have you ever thought about bobsled? And I was like, I don't, Bob, are you? Like cool runnings, are you um, like just, what? <laughs> and, and he goes, no, I'm serious. Like Australia has a bobsled team and I think you would be really good at it. You're a really strong runner and um, you look like you have uh, the ability to be a really good bobsledder. And I was like. Kiara rang me up and said, um, a person called Ashley rang me up and wants me to join in bobsledding and give it a go. I said, what's that? And she said, oh, pushing a sled and got to go over to Europe, etc." And I said, well, go for it. <laughs> we call her the Cool Runnings Kid. <laughs> hmm. I think if she makes the Olympics, Leonora will do a bit of a you know, big screen somewhere and we'll be watching the desert kid doing the run. <laughs> yeah, it's a great story, yeah. I've never been one to, um, with a massive Olympic dream. Probably I didn't think that I was ever that sort of quality athlete when I was younger. We grew up obviously in Leonora, a very small town, and we didn't really have the scope or the influence to say that you're, you're going to be an Olympic athlete. I worked hard to make sure that my my mind and my body and my recovery and my connections with other people are the best that I can I can make at that time and, and I think that's what's gotten me to the place that it has because I, I really believe that that's how anyone can achieve big things by just being putting in the work to to be the best they can be in the moment. <laughs>